Hello, uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of our 2017 Winnebago Trend that we have put on the market. Uh, it's a great little unit. Um, we are selling because we're going to get a little bit bigger unit uh, for our growing uh, grandkids. So uh, this has been a fantastic uh, RV for us and we're sad to part with it, but um, it's time to get a little bit bigger. So anyway, here's uh, the, a view of the outside. You can see the uh, great window of the rearview mirrors. There's a uh, storage there, as well as here on the passenger side. I've uh, beefed up the hitch so I can carry e-bikes. This is a one-up uh, bike carrier that I uh, purchased and it's worked great. We just did a uh, three, month, three month trip to the Southwest US and it, uh, the bikes rode beautifully. Nice ladder to access the roof. This is built on a Ram Promaster chassis. It's a 3.6 liter V6 engine. Very peppy, um, easy to drive, fun to drive. Really enjoyed it. Nice dash. It's got a rear view mirror in the in the uh, in the uh, or it's got a camera uh, rear camera in the rear view mirror. Uh, it's got uh, foldable shades for all four windows up here. It's a nice skylight up here that opens and closes. Let's in lots of light. Cubbies on either side for storage. Storage there. Here is a television you can watch around the dinette. The dinette is uh, expandable. It uh, can, uh, those, the driver and the passenger seat also turn around so that uh, you can uh, use these two benches as well as the driver and passenger seat to sit people. We've had seven adults around this uh, table. Uh, I did purchase a spare. A spare doesn't come with the uh, rig, but I acquired one and put it under the table. There are three seat belts back here for passengers. Beautiful uh, kitchen area, uh, storage here, two shelves here. Um, cook stove, sink, I put a bungee in there to keep a coffee maker and a toaster on the shelf, a drying rack, uh, nice shelves extend all the way out. Uh, expandable um, counter, the uh, wardrobe is here. We use this for foods, dry stuffs. Bathrooms in the back driver's side corner. Shower with a uh, these self-cleaning doors. I installed a storage rack in here that uh, is easily removable as well as a shoe rack. So we, uh, when we're not using the shower, we're we're using it for storage. Toilet sink. The, uh, it's got a tankless hot water system, Gerard system. It works great. Unlimited water. Here's a uh, medicine cabinet. Uh, the bed is very comfortable. The headboard moves up, or the, the, f the top of the bed is on um, hinges and it moves up. Nice storage above. We we uh, we put our clothes here in uh, in plastic tubs. The privacy curtain here. Totally, totally enclosed the uh, bedroom. The thermostat is here, and there's a light here as well. It's a convection uh, microwave, so you can bake in here as well. It's a three-way uh, refrigerator running on gas, battery, or shore power.
nice little size freezer in here too. The main TV is here on, on uh, near the entrance of the door. Uh, entertainment center, DVDs, um, CDs, inside and outside speaker system. Uh, again, a little storage area. And here's your gauges for, uh, for tank levels. Uh, we did install lithium batteries, which is a phenom phenomenal upgrade for this unit. It, it's telling you that uh, the batteries are at 96%. And uh, the beauty with lithium is you can run them down to as, as low as 10% and not damage the battery. Those are Battleborn batteries, which are guaranteed for 10 years. Uh, there, this is a, a control for our, the loft bed, the studio bed. This actually drops down this bed sitting in the ceiling here actually drops down about halfway down to the floor and creates a, a bunk bed situation of course the dinette also turns into uh, a sleeping uh, space so i've got photos on on the site that you can see that set up uh, in the bunk bed fashion so uh give me a call if you have any questions great rig um hope it goes to a good home thank you